Hello everybody, this is the Huge Tower 2 Level Editor video tutorial. This video will show you how to create a simple level. This is the panel where you can save and test your level, copy and paste objects, select any static or dynamic object, or view properties of selected objects. Here are a lot of static objects, which are objects that will not move during a level. Also, we have glass, some sticky ground, and of course, spikes. In the Dynamic 1 tab, we have all the Hujos, the Emo, and a lot of dynamic objects. The third tab has different joints that can be set between objects. You can close these windows. Okay, let's create our level. To create any object, just drag and drop it on the background, or just click on it. You can move and resize it any way you want to. You can also rotate it, just find the white circle and drag. Also, you can move any object to the background and to the foreground. Each object has its own properties. This ground has size and rotation properties. Let's make some ground. Do you like ground? and some grass. You see, it's easy. Let's add another static object, like this beautiful square, a static object. Let's test our level. See, this square is holding its position. I will now add a dynamic object, like a telephone. What could be better? Let's test it. The telephone has fallen because it is dynamic, while the square is in its place. Let's kill some hujos. Here they are. Press play to make them move. Mission complete. I need more red hujos. If you select a hujo, you can see that his only property is linked, which means that he will be hard linked to another linked hujo. See, they are hard linked. I can't drag any. But if you will unlink one, he will be soft linked with a gray color, which means that you can drag the hujo. Now about emos. His only property is the number of hujos that he has to eat. You can save your level only if you complete it, but not now. Let's think up something harder. Oh my god, he is dead! Check the third tab. There are a lot of funny things. Let's drag this line with a red cross in the middle. This thing makes dynamic objects move from one end to the other. You should adjust its properties and set its center on the right object. Wow, it's moving.
but remember, the red cross should be on your desired object. Let me add a static roof. I'm going to hang these spikes to that roof. Some Indiana Jones stuff. Now let's put a pin square on the background. You can pin it to any object. Where you put the cross, the object will be pinned. Now let's try the rotation pin. It works like the previous one and it will rotate your pinned object. You can adjust its rotation speed and properties. If you set it to a negative, it will rotate in the other direction. You can rotate any dynamic object. Now let's play with glass and an anvil. Wow, it can't be! Hmm, only an anvil can break glass. Now on to sticky bars. Only yellow hujos can stick to the sticky bar. You can link them right to the bar. Okay, on to rotating blades. You can change the rate of spin. Now it's time for the fan. It can blow away almost every dynamic object. Let's save our level. You'll need to complete it to save it.
Hooray! Enter your name and the level's name, and don't forget to allow us to use this level in a huge Tower 2 level pack.